Hello everyone, my name is Amy Law and alongside Jeff Schofield I am responsible for marketing the Plantworks event and I'm joined today by Chief Executive Officer of Construction Equipment Association, Rob Oliver. Hello Rob. Hi Amy, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Um, so we're going to have a quick chat today with Rob about Plantworks and what's been going on over the last uh, few months. Rob, if I could start by asking you what the role of the CEA is in establishing Plantworks. Uh, yes, yeah, Steve, the um, CA got involved with Plantworks, and in fact started it, the uh, first one was back in, uh, when was it, 2013, and uh, we set up a, a separate company called Construction Equipment Events, uh, so basically we've been the organisation behind it since it started. Um, some people remember the old SED show, for example, so we kind of filled the space that, that, that they left when they closed. In addition to the impact on public health, uh, the pandemic has also had a big impact on event and trade shows. Could you talk to us a little bit about how the pandemic has affected the planning and positioning for Plantworks 2021? Um, yeah, so it's, it's been difficult all around and, and we've um, in the past always uh, alternated our show with the Hill Head show. So we're every two years as is Hill Head. So Hill Head, having missed this year, have moved into 21. And so our next show is going to be in 22. So that's the 14th to the 16th of June, uh, back at the East of England uh, Arena and Events Centre in Peterborough. What do you think the challenges and opportunities are that the move um, to 2022 brings for the Plantworks team? Well, I guess, um, I guess one of the potential challenges is we, we, we can't predict the future, but we hope that the whole COVID-19 experience would be very much in the rear view mirror by then. Um, but if it isn't, then we do have any restrictions of any kind. The, the venue that we have at Peterborough is, is ideal in the sense that we've got some good wide open spaces and flexibility to work with. Mm -hmm. And um, over, the, over the summer, they've actually run several events which have been COVID-19 compliant. So um, we feel that that venue brings a, brings a lot to, to what we can offer the visitors and the exhibitors. Um, but the other thing, of course, it's, it's quite a while till, till June 22, 14th, 16th June. And uh, um, what we need to do and what we will be doing is really keeping in touch with everyone. So this is part of it, but you're going to be seeing uh, more blogs, more um, webinars, more mailings, just to keep you in touch with what we're doing. Um, as we, and we'll step a little bit into the virtual world, which we're all in at the moment. You mentioned that uh, 2022 will be the fifth event, um, the second in Peterborough. How was the first event at the East of England Showground in 2019? Well, we, we felt it was very successful. We really had excellent feedback from the visitors and exhibitors. We, we brought with us the usual weather that we seem to have for plant works. So it was a wet event. But the key thing, because of the permanent infrastructure it has there, in terms of the roadways and the dedicated uh, exhibition halls, um, we felt it worked really well. Um, and it will you know, accommodate very uh, big crowds and audiences very easily because you've got excellent parking, you've got um, great access from the, from the A1, you're on the, the main line uh, route uh, on the rail line down to London and, and north. So um, we felt it was very successful, so we're very happy to be going back there again. So obviously I'm still here because I'm on the video, but have there been any other changes to the Plantworks delivery team as the planning starts for the 2022 event? Yeah, well, first of all, great you are still here, Amy. So it's great <laughs> that you're still on the team. Um, there's quite a few familiar faces and one or two new ones. Um, I can probably go through them um, just as a refresher for some people and an introduction for others. And our team dedicated to delivering Plantworks 2022 is led by Simon Freer Cook, with Stuart Favill, Karen Edwards, Angela Spink, Tanya Venning Rhodes, Joanna Oliver, Suzanne Hugill, Amy Law, Jeff Schofield, and last but not least, Louise Carney. You were talking earlier, Rob, about how it was really important that Plant Works continue to build on the community that we started uh, way back when. Um, and so what, what do you think that we can do to keep in touch with those people, uh, those exhibitors and visitors, to keep them engaged and also to give them some things to look forward to? Yeah, you, you're right. I mean, we um, are in touch with thousands and thousands of people, people who have exhibited, people who have come to the shows. And it's not only the UK, but also some of our international friends. 
Um, so what we're committed to doing and taking things forward is to uh, do things like this, these, these vlogs, is to keep in touch with, with emails, to keep in touch through social media, um, to let you know what's happening with the show, but also adding a little bit of value too. So we're going to introduce some webinars, which we hope that uh, people will enjoy and get some value from, and uh, really take advantage of this virtual world that we're in while we're running up towards the show. How can people stay in touch and be part of that conversation and that community going forwards? Well, the great thing now is we've got lots of different um, channels to communicate and we've found that in social media that uh, we've got something like uh, 6,000 followers on, on Twitter, about 8,000 on Facebook, we've got an active LinkedIn community. Um, so all these are the sort of things that they can engage with us and give us their feedback on the things that they'd like to see and do and, and we can also tell them about the activities that we're up to. So it's not just about sending someone an email or, or ringing them up or whatever. There's lots of different channels how we can keep in touch and keep together because we need to keep together. We've seen the value of that during the COVID uh, issues and, and we want to keep a good community going as we go forward. The last question for me uh, today is what are your hopes and expectations, Rob, for Plantworks 2022? Well, I think we've got the great opportunity for this to be a really successful show. It's going to be the biggest working construction equipment show of the year. And I hope it's going to be an occasion that's a celebration of our industry, as well as an opportunity for people to do good business and have a good time. So don't forget, 14th to 16th of June, 2022. Many thanks, Rob, for your time this afternoon. And to everybody watching at home, the Plantworks community, we trust you found this interview interesting. Please look out for more updates from us and interviews over the coming weeks and months. And as Rob said, if you've got any ideas for how you would like to use us as a platform to get your message out, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much. I'm Amy Law from Plantworks. <laughs>